All right, hello, and it is Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be unboxing Rune Factory 4 Special, the Archival Edition on the Nintendo Switch. And I have to say that I love this limited edition or collector's edition. I'd say it's probably more so a limited edition, uh, but I love this packaging. It's beautiful. So happy that they decided to do this. This originally came out on the 3DS, ported it over to the Switch, so it does look a lot better. Um, and there might be a few extra goodies here and there. I haven't looked too much into that aspect of it, but I never played this on the 3DS. I have played the first one on the DS and uh, very happy with it. Uh, this is right up my alley, an RPG mixed with Harvest Moon Story Season Stardew Valley. It's awesome. Uh, and I actually have uh, two copies of it uh, because as you can see with this one, there's a problem with it. There is a major uh, dent in it. Um, and considering that this is a limited edition, I, I, with this gigantic, beautiful box, I needed to have this perfect and pristine. If it would have just been like a small dent on the side or something, I think I would have been fine with it. But when I saw that, I, I was so disappointed. This game came out on Tuesday and uh, Amazon had actually shipped it to me by Friday, but I didn't know that. So on Monday, I was like, oh, it's in, it's, it's early. I was freaking out. And then... I saw this and I was so sad. Uh, I told Amazon right away. They were amazing though. Like really, Amazon is amazing for this kind of stuff. I told them that about what happened. I'm gonna send this back to them. They sent this to me. I, I told them about that on Monday night. It was here back on on Wednesday. Like they did, they did a great job. And I was just ended up being too busy. Um, so I couldn't actually play it on Wednesday either. I had to wait till Friday. All right, anyway. Let's take a look at this because like I said, it, it looks fantastic. This is also very much a game that I absolutely love. Like I love the idea of a farming simulator like Harvest Moon, but with uh, an RPG elements and it, lo it very looks like a JRPG. Um, so there's a little bit more, I guess, in terms of the storyline for the bachelors and bachelorettes, um, along with uh, obviously f um, dungeons and uh, monster killing and all that kind of stuff. So Really excited to hop into this. Um, and this does include, so it includes the game and you can pick up the game for, I think in Canada here, uh, this retails for $80 or the price of a regular retail game. Uh, so it would be $60 in the US. Um, uh, but the regular copy of the game, I think is only $55 in Canada. So we're probably looking around, I don't know, 40 in the US, 45 maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it does come up with, with a booklet. Uh, I believe that's a sound, soundtrack CD and some kind of swimwear. I don't really know what that is. Uh, it is rated uh, T for teen uh, for fantasy violence and mild language, uh, mild suggestion of themes and use of alcohol because you can drink in these games, but you're essentially planting crops and also having some battles, endless townsfolk or unfriendly or friendly monsters to aid you in battle. I did not know about that, that about this game. Cool. All right, let's start this process. This is the, okay, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, what does that say? So let's take a closer look. Boom. Rune Factor 4 Special Archive Edition. Relived the thrilling fantasy adventure, 2020. I think this came out in 2013 on the 3DS. And just wait there. Okay. Now, what side do I want to open it on? I think I should have opened it on the other side. Yep. Actually, we'll leave that open for now. Okay. That is massive. So 2006 was the first one uh, that came out. So it says 2006 to 2020. Uh, this is the Rune Factory. Does it say four? No, Rune Factory uh, archival book. So I guess this includes uh, the original three uh, that were on the DS. And it, there was a, a two on the Wii and one on the PS3. The second one that they had uh, that was also on the Wii ended up going on the PS3 as well. So the original soundtrack, actually, that's really nice. Okay, uh, where is my pen? 
not pen, uh, my knife. This is taking a little bit longer than usual. Sorry about that. All right. That's really nice. I like this a lot. Um, I've said it before that I don't really listen uh, to these soundtracks too much on CD. Um, but you never know. So I, I have once in a while, if I really liked it, I ended up uh, popping it into my laptop and listening to them a bit. We'll do the game and then we'll set. Uh, we'll do the book last. Because I think the book's going to be uh, the coup de grace to this, the main event. Ooh, there's an instruction manual. See, I recently did the collector, the actual collector's edition of the, ooh, yeah, it was a swimsuit. Um, so I actually did the um, collector's edition from Japan for the Nintendo Switch of uh, Stardew Valley. That had, nothing in here it just had the uh, game itself there was no background art and they definitely did not have dlc i'm guessing for the swimsuit yeah the code's in the back a little instruction manual which i always love The different characters. I think these are the two main characters that you can be. All the different bachelor and bachelorettes in the game. Starting the game. Oh, controller setup. This is this is what I like. There's quite a bit in here. Wow. In color too. Like this is good job. I don't know if this actually is included in the um, regular edition of the game. Or if it's just because it's in the collector's edition. Uh, but I, but because it came in the regular case, I'm thinking that this... Uh... Wow, that's... that's really, Wow, how many pages is that? Do we have a page count? There's 39... Over 39 pages in this. That's nuts. Alright. And the main thing here. The Rune Factory Archival Book 2006-2020. I'm going to have to go back and get the other games in this series. Or they might just, you know, pour them all over and that'd be nice. That's the first one right there. Which I did have. I don't think I have it anymore. So what I think it has is just all the different characters that have appeared in this. I, I like this. It's, it's, it's a little bit um, of a duller color, but it's because of the paper. Yeah, uh, but it still works. I think that was the oh i did not know that rune factory 2 which also has a, an, an amazing uh i remember the cover of that one looking really nice the main character's name is kyle that is great i'm gonna have to get that one definitely just want to see if i can get maybe all the covers for all of them and i want to see if it does include oh it does include the wii uh the other games that came out so uh rune factory frontier uh came out on the wii in 2009 so it looked a little bit nicer. I'm surprised I didn't pick that game up at the time. All the different characters. This is really cool. Rune Factory 3, which was on the DS. I'm thinking the next one will be the one that's on, yeah. Tides of Destiny was the one that was on PlayStation 3 and the Nintendo Wii. I don't know which one would have been better. Obviously, PlayStation 3 would have had HD as an option. So, maybe that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and get these. Because just looking at this is... That looks awesome. I, I didn't play enough of the first one. And finally, Rune Factory 4. 2013 on the 3DS. In 2020 for the remake. Now, hopefully this does really well. And we end up getting uh, a Rune Factory 5. Uh, because I, just imagine what they could do now. The the ones that were on the Wii and 3DS. Or no, no the Wii and uh, PS3, sorry. They were... Like, 
this is still not the greatest graphics because I mean it's still meant for it, it, it's a 3ds port right they, they didn't remake it or anything like that it's more of a remaster so um what they did with the the, the one that was on the Wii it looked it, it looked awesome like it was an actual um 3d um environment uh, that you were going in not like not like more this 2d over the top um that you have in this one uh so I, I would just love for them to make a rune factory 5 that you could have on playstation 5 and the nintendo switch that would be amazing so um there you have it rune factory 4 special uh on the nintendo switch archival edition thank you all for watching you have been bearded in beardage